Have you ever dreamt of visiting the picturesque hills of Tuscany? Welcome to the heart of Italy, a region known as Tuscany, where landscapes, history and high culture intertwine to create a tapestry of unforgettable experiences. Picture this, rolling hills dotted with cypress trees, medieval hilltop towns rising from the mist, the scent of vineyards clinging to the air, and the taste of authentic Italian cuisine tantalizing your palate. Delve into the depth of Tuscany's rich artistic legacy, a region that cradled the Italian Renaissance and nurtured influential figures in the realm of art and science. Imagine walking the same cobblestone streets as Michelangelo, gazing upon the same sunsets that inspired Leonardo da Vinci, and breathing in the air of innovation and creativity that still permeates Tuscany today. This is more than just a journey through beautiful landscapes and historic sites, it's a voyage through time itself. Stay with us as we embark on an unforgettable journey through the heart of Italy. Our journey begins in the captivating city of Siena. Siena is a treasure trove of medieval charm, a place where every turn of the cobblestone streets reveals an architectural masterpiece. The city's historic center, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a testament to its rich past, with the grand Palazzo Publico and the splendid Duomo standing as symbols of Siena's cultural heritage. The palazzo with its imposing facade is a sight to behold, while the Duomo, an architectural marvel, is renowned for its exquisite interiors. The city's allure is not limited to its historic gems. Siena also serves as an excellent base for exploring the wider region of Tuscany. From here the world-famous Chianti region, known for its robust wines and scenic vineyards, is just a stone's throw away. So, buckle up and prepare for an unforgettable journey into the heart of Tuscany. From Siena, we head to the enchanting Monte Belgiano. Next stop, the medieval town of Monte Belgiano. Stepping back in time we find ourselves in a place where history whispers from every corner. Renaissance palaces stand as proud reminders of an era filled with art and innovation. Their imposing structures and intricate details a testament to the architectural prowess of the time. The town is also home to ancient churches that have borne witness to centuries of worship and celebration. These sacred grounds hold an air of reverence, their silent halls echoing with the prayers of countless generations. But Monte Belgiano's allure doesn't stop at its borders. Its strategic location near Siena offers easy access to other Tuscan gems like Pienza and Montalcino. These neighboring attractions, each with their own unique charm, add to the town's appeal as a must-visit destination in Tuscany. Leaving the hills of Monte Belgiano, we journey to the city of Lucca. Let's continue our exploration and see what other wonders Tuscany has in store for us. Welcome to Lucca, a city encircled by Renaissance walls. Imagine strolling through a historic center that's so walkable, every turn reveals a new discovery. Look up, and you'll see towers reaching for the skies, each one offering a different perspective of Lucca's mesmerizing cityscape. But Tuscany's charm doesn't stop here. Let's take a journey into the heart of this region, the Val d'Orcia. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, this valley is the embodiment of Tuscan beauty. Picture undulating landscapes adorned with vineyards, their grapes glistening under the Tuscan sun. Scattered across these rolling hills are picturesque villages, each one a postcard-perfect snapshot of rural Italy. In the Val d'Orsia, time seems to slow down, allowing you to soak in the tranquil beauty of this idyllic region. Indeed, if Tuscany were a painting, then Val d'Orsia would surely be its masterpiece. From Val d'Orsia, we move to the photogenic town of Cortona. Behold Cortona, perched high atop a hill. A place where every turn reveals a scene straight out of a Renaissance painting, Cortona's vistas are nothing short of breathtaking. The town's hilltop position provides a panoramic view of the valley below, where the Earth's palette of green and gold stretches out as far as the eye can see. And then there's the fortress, Girafalco, standing tall and proud. A visit to this ancient stronghold is a must, from its battlements you are rewarded with a view that is especially memorable, a sweeping vista that captures the essence of Tuscany's alluring beauty. But the allure of Tuscany doesn't end with Cortona. Let's now journey to the heart of this enchanting region, to the city where the Renaissance was born, Florence. Florence is not just a city, it's a grand open-air museum. Its streets echo with the creative energy of the artists who shaped the world as we know it today. The city is brimming with art museums and galleries, each one a treasure trove of masterpieces. The Uffizi Gallery, for instance, boasts works by Botticelli, Michelangelo, and Da Vinci, to name just a few. And then there's the Duomo, Florence's magnificent cathedral. Its red-tiled dome dominates the cityscape, a testament to the ingenuity of its architect, Brunelleschi. 
The cathedral's intricate marble facade is an artwork in itself, a symphony of colors that dazzles in the Tuscan sun. Florence, with its irreplaceable artworks and architectural marvels, is a testament to human creativity and the enduring allure of beauty. It's a place where history and culture intertwine, whispering tales of the past and inspiring the future. Leaving the heart of the Renaissance we travel to the UNESCO heritage town of Pienza. As we bid farewell to Florence we carry with us the spirit of the Renaissance, a reminder of the extraordinary capacity of human beings to create and appreciate beauty. Welcome to Pienza, known for its Renaissance architecture and panoramic views. This UNESCO heritage town is a testament to the genius of the Renaissance, with buildings that are monuments to symmetry and harmony. As you stroll through its streets don't forget to pause and drink in the breathtaking panoramas of the Val d'Orcia. From Pienza we journey to Monteriggioni, a medieval walled village that transports you back in time. Its fortifications and watchtowers stand as a testament to the strategic importance of this village in historical times. One can't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder at the resilience of these ancient structures. Next we visit San Gimignano, famous for its towers. This town is like a living museum, offering a rich historical experience and stunning views of the Tuscan countryside. Its preserved medieval architecture stands as a proud testament to its past. Our journey continues to Volterra, a city that uniquely blends history and local craft. It is known for its Etruscan museum, Roman amphitheater, and alabaster shops. The city's past echoes around every corner, while its local craftspeople continue to create beautiful works of art from the city's abundant alabaster. We then make our way to Pisa, a city that needs little introduction. Despite being known worldwide for its leaning tower, Pisa is a vibrant student town with a rich historical center, quality restaurants and lively squares. It's a city that seamlessly blends the old and the new. Finally we arrive at Livorno, a modern city on Tuscany's western coast. This city is known for its seafood cuisine and modernist charm, offering a stark contrast to the medieval towns of the region. Its bustling port is a testament to its importance as a maritime hub. And so concludes our journey through the picturesque hills, historical cities and charming towns of Tuscany. From the Renaissance splendor of Pienza to the modernist charm of Livorno, Tuscany offers a diverse array of experiences that captivate and inspire. It's a region that truly embodies the essence of Italy, and one that continues to enchant visitors from all corners of the globe. What a journey we've had through the heart of Tuscany. Indeed we've wandered through the charming cobblestone streets of Siena, embraced its medieval charm, and marveled at its UNESCO-listed historic center. We've experienced the serenity and grandeur of Renaissance palaces in Monte Belgiano and felt the echoes of history in its ancient churches. The breathtaking views from the towers of Lucca, encased within its well-preserved Renaissance walls have left us spellbound. Our senses have been delighted by the iconic Tuscan landscapes of Val d'Orcia, another UNESCO World Heritage Site, with its vineyards, picturesque villages and rolling hills. The photogenic hilltop town of Cortona etched its panoramic vistas into our hearts. And who could forget the birthplace of the Renaissance, Florence, with its world-renowned art museums, galleries and the magnificent cathedral. We've been captivated by the Renaissance architecture of Pienza and the panoramic views of the Val d'Orcia from its vantage point. The fortifications and watchtowers of Monteriggioni teleported us back to medieval times, while the towers of San Gimignano offered us a rich historical experience and stunning views of the Tuscan countryside. Our journey took us to Volterra, where we explored its Etruscan museum, Roman amphitheater and alabaster shops, a unique blend of history and local craft. Pisa, the city beyond its iconic leaning tower, surprised us with its vibrant student life, rich historical center, and quality restaurants. Finally, we reached Livorno, a modern contrast to the medieval towns we've traversed. Its port's importance and the allure of its seafood cuisine and modernist charm added another dimension to our Tuscan experience. What a diverse and enriching journey it has been, from the historical heart of Siena to the modern edges of Livorno, showcasing Tuscany's range of natural beauty, rich history and cultural heritage. Each destination has told us a unique story, adding layers to our understanding of this quintessential Italian experience. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope to see you again on another adventure through the beautiful landscapes and cities of the world.